What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be unboxing and doing a DIY project by replacing my backyard door handle and lock. Now to do that, I'm gonna be using this keypad, door handle and locking mechanism from Brightify, which they sent me to test out and try to see what I thought about it. So stay tuned and we'll check this thing out. Okay, so first things first, let's go ahead and unbox this to see what it comes with so we can see what we're working with. Okay. Uh, first and foremost, this looks like the door handle itself. And this is a matte black color, so that's pretty nice, especially because it'll match with our darker door. Um, and in general, I like these matte black door handles. So it's this squared off contemporary looking door handle, which I think is also nice if you have metal doors, which we eventually want to get one day. Okay. Okay. And I had to wait till a little later in the day to do it because it is crazy hot out here as usual because of this Texas weather. So as you can see, the sun is setting. So this is a nighttime project, but I don't think that's going to be an issue because I can just install the door from the inside as well and not have to spend that much time outside. Plus there's all these mosquitoes out here too. Okay, so this looks like the deadbolt and digital keypad. Now the good thing about this system, from what I understand, is there's also an app so you can install this and control it with your smartphone as well. Um, so that's pretty nice. So on it, it's got a keypad and the deadbolt itself. And then it's got this automatic locking mechanism and it's pretty sturdy looking. Now this does use four AA batteries and so far I do not see them included in the package. So you may have to provide your own. Um, okay, looks like it comes with three sets of keys uh, just in case the app doesn't work or the batteries run out, I guess. This is for emergencies, I guess. Uh, this is supposed to be a fully automated system that works with your smartphone, so you shouldn't need these keys unless it's absolutely necessary or an emergency where, where you don't have the app or you need to manually unlock the door. Okay. Okay, and then this looks like the inner door handle. So this is for the inside of the door that goes on the opposite side of this handle. So it just connects like this. And I like again that it's squared off and contemporary looking. And I guess just to talk about the quality a little bit, this feels like heavy duty steel and aluminum, but it is a strong metal and it's very durable feeling. Uh, this feels a little bit more like plastic uh, for the deadbolt, at least the inside deadbolt, um, but the rest of it is all pretty much steel and a metal type of material. Okay, and then you of course get the hardware for the internal portion of the locks. So these are the locks themselves, as well as the various parts. And then you get a bunch of instructions. So looking at these instructions, this is like a instruction map, which looks pretty easy to follow. Uh, so it's laid out pretty nicely step by step. And then what is this? These are, looks like instructions for the programmable um, keypad. Uh, so it's nice that you have that. So qu quick getting started guide. You've also got another installation manual, which does give you the templates for drilling out the door um, if you aren't already pre-drilled or replacing existing uh, door handles and locks, which is nice. And then I think lastly, this is probably another template. Yeah, so this is the spacing template that you're going to use on your door so you know where to place each of the locks and handles. And I guess the most important one here, since I'm replacing a door handle and uh, deadbolt lock, is the bottom one, which is where this 
little pin is gonna fit so that the whole handle fits through. Because I've already got the two main holes already installed from my previous door handle. Okay, so as you can see, it's got pretty much everything you need to get started with the exception of the tools that you'll need to drill the holes and probably screw and unscrew everything. So uh, let's go ahead and get this thing installed. Okay, so first things first. Now that we've got everything unboxed, we're gonna need to remove the existing door lock and handle. So the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna be using this power drill that Hippu sent me to test out and review. Now, if it's anything like the pictures that I saw, I'm gonna probably be giving this to my wife because she loves the color pink and I think this thing comes in pink. So let's go ahead and unbox this real quick and see what this power drill comes with. Okay, so this is a 20 volt DC max uh, power drill. Uh, it's perfect for screwing and drilling. This is model CD08-20. Um, let's see. So this it comes with a cordless drill, a uh, 20 volt lithium ion battery, the battery charger itself, uh, some driver bits, I think there's 12 of them, uh, drill bits, and I think there's eight of them, an extended holder, a flexible heft shaft, an extra long bit. It comes with some screws, so about 30 of them. It also comes with 30 anchor screw. It also comes with 30 screw anchors and then a plastic transparency box, whatever that is. Okay, so this drill looks like it has 22 pounds of torque, which isn't too bad and means that you can use it for most DIY projects. Uh, it also goes at 650 RPM, which means that it does have a little bit of power behind it. Okay, let's go ahead and see what's inside of this thing. Okay, so these are the screws and the screw fasteners. The DC plug, uh, looks like the drill bits and the screw bits, which is nicely contained. Okay, and this is of course the 1300 milliamp hour 20 volt battery, lithium ion battery. And on the back of this, it's got the power button to let you know how much power is remaining. So I'm gonna guess since it doesn't stay on that this thing does need to be recharged. So not like your typical big box drills where you slide it into some kind of charger. Instead, you plug just the DC plug into the top of this. Uh, some more screws and fasteners. Uh, looks like, oh, this is nice. It's got a the long extendable uh, adapter. This is something that is pretty nice. So you can reach those hard to get spaces uh, when you're drilling. Uh, so that's something that's nice that's included in there. Uh, you also get a quick user manual. It's a pretty mini little user manual. And then of course you get the drill itself. And when I had first seen this picture, I thought this would be perfect for my wife because she loves the color pink. So, you know, this will be perfect for her DIY projects. And this is something that I'll probably give her since I already have, you know, a bunch of drills that I already use, but this is perfect for her own DIY projects and in a color that she loves. So uh, this is perfect for her. And as you can see, it is a pretty nice size. Uh, it's not too big, it's not too bulky, but it's just the right size uh, for easy managing. Um, and the way you insert the battery is you just slide it in. So there is this release button on the front that you just have to press. Uh, you've got your reverse and uh, forward buttons. And then it looks like you've got your torque adjustment right here. Um, and then of course, the way you unscrew and screw the drill bits, which is just a simple turn of the knob. Okay, and overall, it does feel like a good quality drill. So see, as you can see, it does have some good power behind it and it does have a light as well, which is really nice to have. Okay, so we'll go ahead and use this to remove the existing deadbolt and door handle, and then we'll go ahead and install the new one. Okay, so now that we've got the whole door kit from Brightify unboxed, we're gonna go ahead and replace the old lock and doorknob that was on our back door. And to do that, I'm gonna use the new drill that Hippu provided to go ahead and remove some of the screws and kind of drill the new holes for the new um, doorknob and door handle.
So as you can see, this Hipu drill is affordable, but it does have a lot of power behind it. It's not the most powerful of drills, but it will have enough power to do most jobs around the house. Okay, so we're removing the old doorknob. And then we'll move the old lock. Now, because this back door only has a deadbolt and a doorknob, I'm probably gonna have to drill a hole for the handle, the bottom piece of the handle. Okay, so those have been removed. So as you can see, it's now a hole. All right, so let's look at the instructions. Okay, so the way this is gonna fit is it's gonna go in like this. So I'm gonna need to pre-measure the holes as well. So let's go ahead and remove these plates. This is gonna go down here. So this is where the handle will go. It is a little low for my liking, but I'd say it's probably not bad. And then of course the keypad will go right here at the top. So. Okay, so just so we're measuring out this correctly, let's use this template that was provided. Okay. So as you can see from the template, typically they want the handle hole a little higher, but because it's not, that's okay, because we're using the existing holes. So I'm gonna go in here and look from the back because then I can line up the hole as well to the template. And then that'll allow us to mark the hole on the door. And what I'll do for that is I will get, I guess, one of these old screws to just mark the hole. So I have a mark on the door where the hole should be drilled. So as you, the hole is right there now. So that should accurately give me the distance for this and the hole itself, which it does. Okay, uh, now I need to make sure that that hole is in the center, direct center, and straight. So for that, I've got my 90 degree, which will allow me to make sure this is straight. So the center should be... Right there. Got this to make sure that it's completely straight. Okay, and just to make sure it's straight here. X marks the spot. Okay, and this little hole right here, let's see what the measurement is for that. Three eighths inch, which does seem a little bit larger than what this is. So I'm just gonna go a little bit smaller because I want it to be pretty tight. I'm gonna go with a 5 sixteenths because it's gonna be just a little bit larger, but not too much larger. 3 eighths is a little larger than that hole itself. Put that right. I guess the inside of this door is styrofoam. It's not completely all wood. Not too difficult to drill through. Okay, so now we've got the hole for this thing. Uh, and it fits perfectly all the way through. All right, so based on the instructions, three, four, five, six, seven, where is eight? Dead bolt installation. 
Okay, and as you can see, it fits perfectly. It's the perfect height. Okay, so we need the locks themselves now, which are these things. Okay, so this first one, we'll go ahead and remove this little plastic cover. And I like how this is matte black as well on the uh, bolts, uh, because, so it matches the door handles as well. Okay, so the curved part goes outwards. And we'll just put that in this hole. Might have to extend these, carve these out a little bit more. Okay, so of course I'm gonna have to get a pencil Trace this out a bit. Okay, which is not too much to remove. Now the good thing about these bolts is they're adjustable in length. So according to the instructions, you can adjust the depth, the distance out or in if you need to, which is nice from 60 millimeters to 70 millimeters. So it can fit for most door sizes. Now it does recommend using a chisel for this, but because it's only like a smidge of wood, I'm using this knife. Which does the work just nicely. Okay, so with that removed, it should fit just fine. Okay, so now that I've gotten that cut through, let's see, it looks like it fits perfectly. Okay, now we just gotta do the same thing for the bottom. This is the deadbolt, so this one goes on the bottom. Deadbolt goes on the top. So for the deadbolt, there is direction, so it points to which side should be up, which means this is the right way it should go. And as you can see from the previous hole, it still fits. Okay, so I'm gonna mark out this hole for the lock itself. For the door handle itself, I mean. Okay, so again with the pencil. Which again will give us where we need to cut. And remove the pieces. So again, I'm gonna use my knife and just dig in. Okay, so and again, perfect fit. Okay, so now that those are installed. Okay, the locks are installed. Okay, and now for the So both of those are now installed, as you can see. They're flush and they fit perfectly in the hole. Okay, we'll put this on the outside, match it up with the holes, and then just plug it in. Okay, and as you can see, it is flush to the wall. It's tight and this long screw, which will screw right into the back of this handle to secure that. And that secures the door handle in place and keeps water vapor from coming in. And secure it into place. So you'll need these long screws again. And before you tighten it, you're gonna to wanna to screw both ends in. And adjust it to make sure it's straight. And then lock it in place. And what's good about this is all the screws are in the inside.
We've confirmed it works. So it closes and opens. Now I didn't replace the plates on the door just because I can use the existing ones already. I mean, I guess it's probably would be better since these are also matte black to match the handles. Um, so it's really up to you um, if you wanna take the trouble of doing it. Okay, now to uninstall the top portion, which is the automatic piece. I'm gonna remove the cover, which is a separate set of instructions uh, because you do have the option of getting this digital keypad cover or a, just a deadbolt lock. So depending on which kit you get, uh, there will be an se extra set of instructions specific for the automated lock, deadbolt lock. Okay, so take the battery cover off as well as the two batteries inside the battery cover. Which then should allow me to take this off so I can connect the plate. So the wire goes in there, which then we'll use the screws that are provided to screw it into the digital board, the digital keypad in the front as you screw this thing in. So I won't tighten it too much, which should give me the ability to straighten this out to make sure it's straight. To secure it, and that secures the outer lock as well. Then you're given a third screw just for additional, which I'm gonna pre-drill a hole. I'm gonna connect this board, circuit board, connect this little plug to the circuit board, which should only fit in one way. You may need to jiggle it in a little bit. And then line it up. And the door is secure. Okay, something is wrong because the door is not unlocking. Okay, so you do have to make sure that it is turned away so that this lock can turn. Okay, so that is a lesson learned, is that you have to make sure that this little pin Okay, now it's locked. Now it should be able to open. Okay, and then now unlocked is this way. So you need to make sure you connect it with it unlocked. Okay, this time I'm sure it's gonna be correct. Okay, now it's secure and it all works. All right, so now all we need to do is install the four AA batteries, download the app, and we should be good to go. Okay, so sounds like it's connected. So to unlock the lock, enter a valid user code. Default code is 1234, and here are two beeps, light red. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Okay, so we gotta do this again because the bar should be in vertical position. Okay, so again, spin it, but it should be in vertical position.
Okay, connect this and hopefully this is the last time we're gonna do this. Okay, much better. Okay, so according to the instructions now, you press lock, one, two, three, four, and it'll lock it. And to unlock it, you press one, two, three, four, and then the lock button again to unlock it. Okay, and then there's of course instructions on how to program this lock to specific user codes. Um, so you can assign every person in the house or who ha should have access to this lock a user code as well as a personal lock and unlock ID. But I'm not going to actually go into that just because, you know, I don't want to program a code and have to go and remove it later. But it's a pretty extensive combination of keys in order to program this thing, which I mean, which I guess is very detailed and secure but you know something you definitely don't want people knowing on how to reset your whole system now of course to change the settings you need the program code not your personal user passcode so there is a default programming code which is one two three four five six which i'm going to change but to change any settings you're going to need to press the programming code first so programming code let's set this to auto lock programming code is uh, one two three four five six so one two three four five six lock Five, lock, time value 10 seconds. Okay, for that final touch, and just to make sure that this is weatherproof, even though this does come with the rubber seal that sits on the back of the lock, when I did my front door, I did also have some water vapor that came in. So for the extra protection, I'm also gonna add an extra layer of silicone to these locks as well, just to make sure that no water gets in. So I'm just gonna put a bead and then I'll finish it off with my finger just to make sure it's in there to seal it off. Now this is an optional step, but it's something that I wanna do at least just to make sure that my, uh, that I don't get any kind of water coming into the house. And the silicone I'm using here is mold armor. So it also protects from mold. I've reset the alarm, I've reset the codes. Uh, and now the lock is installed. Okay, so this is what the door lock and the handle looked like installed. So as you can see, it is pretty nice looking and aesthetically pleasing. Um, I will say that because this thing is made out of metal, if it is hot outside, this handle is very hot because it does collect that heat. Um, it is black and then it is metal, so that heat just collects and it becomes pretty hot to touch. Um, it seems to work well, installation was easy. Um, and I actually like the look of it. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this quick unboxing and review and the installation of this door lock and handle. If you found this helpful, please make sure you go and support this channel by smashing that like button and subscribing. Please also make sure that you ring that bell icon to get notified when I post new content. Until next time, I'm going to go inside. I'll see you next time.